Hey you all, welcome back to our channel. I'm Sandra, I'm so glad you're here with us today. We are doing a wet sold video today. I'm throwing this together really quick for y'all. We've just had so much going on. As you know, we had two Cozy Thread um, boxes that came in and I've already put up the video for the first one and I do apologize. For some reason, I went to go edit the second video and do the screenshots for y'all and the video has just disappeared. I have, may have inadvertently deleted it. I sincerely apologize. Um, that box was great. I've already sold one piece from the first box and a couple pieces already from the second box, which is super amazing. I'm listing them and within a couple days they're selling. So I'm super excited about that. I am already looking on their site um, to see when the next box will come in and kind of in that criteria because I am so happy with how things are going with those boxes. Um, I did the denim unboxing last weekend and I was going to wait until I got everything listed so I could do screenshots for y'all. And I mentioned in the video that I was going to do that, but I think I'm just going to note in the video that I'm not going to do that. And the reason why is because there were 50 pieces in that box and I've really come to realize that in order for me to get all those listed and get this video up in a timely manner for y'all, it's going to take probably a few days to get those going because I typically average about 10 listings a day plus what Dan's working on so that's going to take like a week to get me um, get all that up there so that I can get the screenshots going for y'all so I think because that box was so big until I can kind of get more of a handle on doing things this way with the unboxings and doing the screenshots I may skip that I may just go ahead and put the video up so you can at least see what I got and share with you the great um, pieces that I got because that was a great box. I'm serious. I was so happy with that box. So I think I'm going to go ahead and list it without doing that. And then the next time I do it, hopefully since I'm kind of doing things different, I will kind of be caught up on inventory and the boxes. Because I still have some inventory over here. Another men's box to finish from previously over here. Kind of need to get caught up on some things. So I think I'm going to skip that this time. And the next time I do a denim box, because I do believe I'm going to do another one. I was so happy with the inventory on that one. So, but let's get to it. If you're new here, we do unboxing from Cozy now, um, thread up, we do Goodwill hauls, we've been doing rummage sales. Speaking of which, the items from our rummage sales are selling also, so it's super exciting. Um, I'm selling jewelry, we're selling shoes, all kinds of things on all different platforms. We do sell on Poshmark, Macari, eBay, or our mains, but we also sell on Vinted, Facebook Marketplace, Depop, places like that, and we're selling everywhere. So it's super exciting. If you're new here, those kinds of those are the kind of videos that we do. If those videos are intriguing to you, you want to be able to learn from what's working for us, tips, anything, tricks, and all that stuff, what's sold all those great things please do subscribe so you know when a new video is coming out also so that you know when we are doing our next unboxings i am waiting for one more box to come in i have two coming but one's coming in i think tomorrow super excited to share that one with you that has a small number of pieces in it so i will definitely be doing comps for the uh, for the um, um shots on that so i will definitely do that one because i think it's like nine pieces that one is definitely doable so I'll probably try to have that up later this week um, and then we, um, we have another cozy unboxing coming up later once that box comes in. So anyway, so that you know when those um, boxes come in when we're doing all that, do subscribe. Um, if you're, if you're coming back, first of all, I just want to say thank you to y'all who've already subscribed, who are following us, who are giving thoughts on, and comments on items. We just so appreciate the support. We are working really hard and diligently to, I'm working to improve the types of videos that I'm doing, um, my thumbnails, just all that great stuff because I really want this YouTube channel to just be great. I want you guys to be excited when the new video comes up, to be excited to see the content. And so I'm really working to improve on that. So I really appreciate all y'all's support. So let's get to it here. Um, we had fewer um, sales this week, but our sale prices just we was a it was a great week we were so so pleased so let's kind of go through here i'm just going to use my phone to share with you the basic deets on things that sold because i did want to get this out sooner than later so i'm going to screenshot here what sold for y'all i do believe it was 19 sales total we're going to start off with makari this cute table runner patriotic colors 
Um, we got this one of our first hauls uh, several months back, and I knew it would probably take a little while to sell it just because it is a patriotic table runner. But somebody sent me an offer. I know I think I had it listed for maybe like twenty bucks or something on Macari. Somebody sent me an offer of fifteen. We paid out like two or three dollars for this. I said absolutely. So that sold for fifteen dollars. Super cute. And with the Fourth of July just around the corner, uh, that's why I figured it was you know selling at that time. So that was super great. I was very happy with that. Okay, this next piece. Oh my goodness! When we got this, was one of those great pieces. We've got two things in this haul. Uh, for what sold this last week that we were super excited about and this was one of them this Sylvania dual screen portable DVD player I had so many likes on this especially on Macari every time I relisted it I'd get six eight likes on it within a few days it was crazy sent likes out to offers out to people and somebody finally we had it listed I think for 65 I delisted it, I relisted it again. Somebody sent me an offer of $49. I think we paid like four or five dollars for this at the thrift store. It was new in box. We double checked, everything was in it. And so we totally accepted that offer. So this sold for $49. Very happy with that. The next thing is, oh, this was another one that was great. These Adidas Jet Boost Athletic Men's Running Shoes we're in a men's thread up box, so it cost me like four dollars or three dollars or something like that for these shoes. I had them listed at a hundred. A gentleman reached out to me, asked me if I would take eighty. I said absolutely, and so um, it was either hundred or hundred twenty-five. I don't remember. I, I I I marked it up quite a bit because of Poshmark. So when I have numbers high like that, I do it because of Poshmark because of the twenty percent fee plus sending out 20% offers and things like that. So anyway, he sent me a message saying, would you do these for 80? I said, absolutely. So, and he sent me a message, it was so sweet, sent me a message um, on Mark uh, Macari. Once he got them, he was so grateful, loved his shoes so much. Anyway, these sold for 80 bucks. Again, we paid like $4 roughly for these shoes. So great, great profit on those. Okay. This was another piece that we had so many likes on this every time I relisted it. And I sent out offers to people and finally I think uh, it was listed for like 16 or 20 or something like that and the offer went out of 16. Somebody snatched it up. Super, super cute miniature eight piece purple uh, floral porcelain tea set in its original box. We I think we paid like $4 for this or something at the thrift store. We've had this for a while. Super cute, so many likes, fondly sold. Okay, this is another one of those just kind of like out of the blue things that Dan picked up at the thrift store. I think it paid like a buck for it or something like that. It's a Party Light Southwest Black Getco Tea Light Holder. I think we had it listed for 11. Um, she offered me nine. I said absolutely, so we got that out. That just shipped out today. Um, so that sold over the weekend. Very, very cool. Okay, next, again, thread up shoe box, not the men's box, but the thread up shoe box. Um, so these were like $5.66. I think I had these listed for like 50 or something, and an offer went out of like 40, and she re, re, um, she countered at 30. I said, absolutely. She absolutely loved these shoes. She messaged me back. Great, great feedback on Poshmark about how much she loved these shoes. They were so beautiful. And these were, oh, I don't remember the brand, and it doesn't show me here what the brand was, but super, super cute shoes, uh, boots. And they were over-the-knee boots. So she loved them. Okay, next, on Poshmark, we sold some more jewelry. Woke up one morning, and somebody just purchased these outright. They were $25, so I made $20 profit. These cost like $1.24 through the place where I get all my jewelry from. So super great profit. All the orders that I've placed on jewelry for the company that I go through, the amount that I put into the orders that I placed to purchase these items, all the jewelry long time ago that has sold already paid for the orders that I placed. So any jewelry that I have now in my stock, if I sell it, it is completely pure profit. So this is $20 pure profit on Poshmark. Next up, okay, this was in the most recent Thread Up Shoe box. These shoes, um, there was two pairs of shoes in there that I just weren't sure if they would sell. I had these listed for $25, um, and I, I'm trying to remember, okay, these were um, Taryn Rose. I'm trying to just look at the, 
Taryn Rose shoes. I had them, I think, listed for $25. She sent me a $15 offer. These were definitely an older type of shoe. They were in great condition, though. Retail really high, but there's not a lot of reseller value on these shoes, so I was super happy with the fact that I was making $15. So for $15 I made $12. I've doubled my money on these when I didn't know if I would sell them at all. So I was super happy with that. So I said yes to that for sure. Okay, another one of those purses that sold. I'm so happy we're finally getting more of those purses out the door. The Chan's Fashion, Chan's Fashion purse. Um, they were listed for $15. She sent me a $12 offer. I said absolutely. So I shipped that out. Okay, this is one of the pieces from the recent Cozy Threads boxing that we did um this was i think in the second box and um the one that i couldn't do because the, the video got lost um i had this listed i think for 40 poshmark sent out an offer of 32 and she accepted or he accepted so that went out super awesome my cock on that was three dollars and 15 cents so super great profit on that piece next up this was a really cute ink incorporated dress that I got like last summer. This has been sitting forever. Not a lot of likes, not a lot of any information or people liking it or anything. And I had it listed for $25 on Poshmark. Somebody sent me a $20 offer. I said, absolutely. I was so happy to get this out the door. I made $16 on this. It cost me $6.08, I think. And so I doubled my money on this. I was super glad to get that out the door. Super cute dress, but just not a lot of people interested in it. Okay, one of my original men's thread-up boxes that I got way back a few months ago when I started doing men's boxes, this came in that. My cog in this was like $3.32 because of the quantity of what was in the box, what I paid for the box. Um, these were listed at, I think, $25. Um, they sold for $20. And so my profit on this was $16. Very happy. These were Banana Republic men's shorts. Okay, this was another one of them that came from the recent Cozy Threads box. Again, like I told you, I'm already selling pieces on these boxes. Um, this was listed for $30. This was a, let me see if I can see the picture. Oh, this was a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. These were new with tags. Um, I think this was listed for 30 Posher sent out a, all my Poshmark things get from the Posher VA, they automatically get, um, a, I, I go anywhere from like 10 to 20% off, I just bumped it back up to 20% off with like a, a $1.72 discount on shipping. I am getting more sales on Poshmark, so I think going from 10 to 20% off made a difference. Um, so anyway, they got a $24 offer, they accepted, so I was thrilled with that. Okay, and as you all know, I did a Lost Cargo box, and um, I got some great pieces in there. Um, this item sold, it was a very short crop top. This was, let me double check, this was, yeah, Urban Outfitters, and the cock on this was $12.72. It's It was listed for $25, I think they sent me like a $21 offer, so I made like $16, $17 on this. Now, I did find out, I was watching a video the other day, um, a gal who, I actually found out about this gal who resells these, um, these um, Lost Cargo, because for me, the cog on that was really high. It was a box that cost $140, and I only got 11 items in it. Wasn't happy with that, and I mentioned that in a previous video. So I reached out to the gal who did a video on an unboxing from this gal who sells these boxes, and I commented about that. She said this gal's now actually making sure with those boxes that they get at least 20 pieces minimum for that specific box. I am okay with that. So I may go back and see if I can get another one of those boxes because 20 pieces at least for that price range is a much better cog for these pieces. So I may go back and get another one of those boxes. Again, this was Lost Cargo and um, she resells, she gets so much of it in. She actually resells this to other people for Lost Cargo great brands, new with tags, so that those of us who don't have the budget to go out and purchase a thousand dollars or more in lost cargo, she purchases it and then she offers it to other resellers. So yeah, I may go back and grab another those one of the another one of those boxes knowing that. I need to slow down on my talking, I apologize. Um okay. Adidas men's multicolored um tie dye sweatshirt. And we're now on eBay. We had some great eBay sales. Um, this was another men's thread up unboxing, y'all. This was from a couple boxes back, and I wasn't sure if the sweatshirt would sell because it's tie-dye. 
even though it's Adidas, it was tie dye and it was specifically focused on Adidas running. And so I didn't know how many people might like this. It actually had quite a few likes. I was really surprised. I had it listed at 25. I sent them a $20 offer on eBay because they showed that they liked it. Um, he countered at 15 and to be honest, even though I've had some likes, there hasn't been a ton of like interest in this. And I was actually really okay because the cog on this was only $4. So even with that, I still tripled my money on this item. On an item, I didn't know if it would sell. So I said, yes, absolutely, let's get that going. Okay, here's one of our favorite sales that we made. Like I said, we had a few sales. I've already mentioned a couple of them that we were super thrilled about. This new in-box Little Joe uh, model rocket kit, we got this for $4 at the thrift store probably two months ago or so, two, two and a half months ago. Dan was so thrilled that we found this. And I was like, okay, well, we ran comps, and they were selling anywhere from like 100 to 150 or so on eBay. There was a couple sold comps. We had this listed, I think, at 175 because we honestly didn't know what would happen with it. Um, I've had so many people send me really low ball offers or send me offers and not pay or something was going on. Um, finally, this gentleman reached out. She, uh, he offered $100. And on eBay, they give somebody the opportunity to take up to four days to pay for their item that they've purchased. And even though we've had a lot of great interest in this, there's been no like serious people about it. So I told, you know, he messaged me saying, I'll pay for this on Friday. He purchased it on Monday. He said he knew he had up to four days to pay for it. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, yeah, right, you're going to pay for this. You're going to, you know, do this and you're just going to forget about it and not pay. But sure enough, really early in the morning, Friday morning, I got notification that he paid for it. I was so thrilled. So we had this listed at 100 He paid shipping, obviously 10% fees, so I think it was like $10. So we made like, um, by the time it was all said and done, we made an over $80 profit on an item that cost 4 bucks. We were super, super happy with this and really glad to get it to a new home. And hopefully they were really going to enjoy this cute rocket kit. Okay, next. We have, we have a few more items. Okay, as you all know, I purchased a LeMade box. A couple of them from Boutique in the Box a few months ago. I have slowly been getting through the inventory on those boxes. I do not know if I'm going to order from that box again because the clock on these was kind of high. These particular ones were $4 a piece and I bundled them together. So it was $8 for the two of them. They were new with tags. I had a few of these. These were extra small. I think I had these listed for $30. Because I really want to get these out the door, I sent her a $22 offer and she accepted. So I more than doubled my money on that and I was super happy with that. Next up, this is another one of those pieces that I didn't know if it would even sell. Um, and it's funny because it was a women's workout top, but it came in one of the men's thread-up boxes. Um, and it's, it's called an Exertion Quick Dry Women's Athletic Top, and it was a double extra large. I think I had this listed for $25 originally because I also wasn't sure what to list it for. And um, I think I sent her an offer of like $18. She counted at $12.99. I said, yes, please, because again, I've had absolutely no more, no other interest in this top. The cock on this was $4, so I, I more than... I think I like doubled my money on this, tripled my money on this. I was super happy with that. So that went out the door for $12.99. I was really glad that it sold. Okay, y'all. This is kind of a neat story. We're still waiting for it to arrive. This was uh, Shoots Caddy Lee Leather Women Black Stiletto Strapped Heel. These were in really great condition. Again, from the most recent Thread Up Shoe Unboxing. So it was $5.66 for the shoes. A gal reached out to me, she absolutely loved these shoes on eBay, and I hadn't been doing any um, out of the country shipping for any of my orders. She messaged me and asked me if she did, if I did out of the country shipping, because she absolutely loved these and would buy them. So I'm talking with Dan about it, because we'd been contemplating maybe switching over and doing some, some out of the country shipping. But I have wanted to do some research to make sure I was doing the out of country shipping correctly, and hopefully I did do it right. Um, Obviously, we will know soon enough. But anyway, so I watched a video on a gal who's done many, 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 many out-of-the-country shippings on eBay. She's been selling for 17 years, has done very well with out-of-the-country shipping. 
and I, this was to Germany. So I went ahead and did the research. I did the changes on my eBay account to do this, and I sent her a message saying I've made some changes. If you're interested in purchasing, they're ready to you know they're ready to go. Sure enough, she accepted my offer. I sent her an offer. She accepted my offer. So these shoes went to Germany, and um, I'm still gonna have to figure it out. I'm gonna have to send this other gal who did the who does the eBay shipping, the one that I watched, because. There was still an extra shipping fee for the shipping versus what I charged her. So I'm going to reach out to this gal and see so you can kind of clarify that for me. I'm not sure. But even if I lost the extra like $9 or $10 in the shipping, I made like $65 on these shoes. So even if it ended up being like an extra $10, my conk on this was $5.66. It was my first out of the country shipping. So I still made more than more than enough money on these shoes, even if I lost out on a few bucks on the shipping for the international shipping. So I'm excited to see some more international shipping. So I am going to go through on some of my smaller items, not the heavier items that on our on our um, hard goods, but I'm going to go through and see if maybe I can make some changes to some of my listings and see if I can sell some more international items. So that was our first international sale to Germany on these beautiful strappy shoes. And we were very excited about that, very happy about that, and I'm excited for her to get them. So again, that was our 19 sales list last week, y'all. I didn't do from the week before that because I wanted to get this video out. I didn't want to do too many sales because that would have been quite a few. And I wanted you to be able to see the um, the listings up here. Again, if the if you guys like the what solds and all, all the different unboxings that we do, as you can tell, even the cozy threads, I'm already making sales on those. We're going to make a shoe sales. All the different types of ways that we're sourcing, they're selling, which is very exciting for us. So if this type of content is a blessing to you, you can learn from it, or you can see how things sell, like I'm doing the, um, the, the new unboxings with the screenshots, so you can see what I'm listing it for, how I'm listing it, what the descriptions look like, all that. If that blesses you, please do like this content, subscribe, like I mentioned earlier, so you know when we have new stuff out. And um, I will do an unboxing when the thread up um, retail arbitrage comes in again. I think it's tomorrow. And then any other things we have going on this week. Guys, I'm so glad you joined me. Thank you again so much for watching if you're still with me. And until next time, have a great one.